The game is to tend to be completed in a single sitting. Well, you'll be happy to know I'm going to be doing just that. Around one hour. It doesn't have a save system. I'm using headphones. I'm sitting in the dark, even. Use WSD to move. Use shift to run. Use left mouse button to interact. Use right mouse button to drop held items. Use escape to toggle the in-game menu. And I can follow everything here. You know what? I will, in fact, follow you on Twitter. Oh, but the page doesn't exist. Something about that's weird. Can I find you on Twitter? I like your games. But his Twitter's down. Why link to his Twitter if it's not going to be there? Still, though. Let's begin the game. He left the evening before, and as the sun followed another sleepless night, her fury remained. Fury and pride. I am still proud, she thought, even now, if only because a lack of pride would admit the wasted years and make them real and give them power. I have tasted the poison and felt the need that surpasses all other needs, and I sit here refusing to waste away while others like me sit in rotting houses and rotting couches, staring blankly at blank walls, thinking and seeing nothing. And yet, men's eyes pass me on the street and judge from a glance, and I am still proud because I have lived more life than they ever will. No, and lived it freely as a woman, and seen the worst of its ruin, and I am still proud, even now, and proud I will remain until I am nothing at all. I have seen the ruin and have pleasured myself with all and any and I have no zealotry left or ambition or hope in a changed world, but this is how I have lived, and I am proud of it because pride is the mark of a woman, and when life has burned to ashes and pride will still remain, and when truth and faith and hope and certainty have burnt too, it will remain. And when I am nothing at all, and the needles and their poison have finally sucked me dry, and my daughter spits my name contemptuously, I will not matter because I have lived more life than they will ever know. And I have lived it as a woman, and seen its ruins, and even when the pride cannot hide the wasted years, and I know it was all for nothing, and scream silently that it was all for nothing in despair, that all the fucking and the pleasures and the pride were nothing, nothing, nothing at all. Even then, when the needles and their poison have sucked me dry, and my daughter spits my name contemptuously, and the pride cannot hide the wasted years, and the pleasures and memories cannot drown out the scream, even then, something somewhere will know that I lived freely as a woman, and even in death I will be proud, and even when the world burns to ashes, they will know it still. And there we go. Rolling right on through to the game. Which is very, very colorful looking. Twist into positions. Nice oceanic view. I was trying to figure out what they were saying in the last scene, with the murmurs and the screams. But yeah, are they pretty? Are they pretty? There's someone talking. And here we go into the game. We roll as we go, and we're already inside some sort of chamber. I can roll with it. There's scissors here. A pair of metal scissors, which I'll take. There's no need for that here. There's no use for that here. Can I take the key? Oh, I can use the scissors on this, right? There's no use for this. The scissors are fairly dull, but after a few tries, you may have to cut the string, which gets me the key. Oh, how do I switch from items? Okay. Oh, you can only hold one item at a time. An ice pick. These always scare me. They're so pointy. Okay, so you can hold an item, and that's what you use for things. You stick the ice pick in the lock and twist it around. Amazingly, you hear a click, and it opens. Awesome. I beat you with scissors, key. 
You unlock the door. There's no use for that here. I unlocked the door twice. Still, though. Here we are in front of us. And that's an early example to tell me that there may be more than one solution to each puzzle. And to teach me that I can only carry one item at a time. That's a clever way of handling it. And this world... Imagine if the world was actually this colorful. There's a noise obviously coming over here to attract the attention. I'll check it out. What is this shiny button for? Let's find out. Sweetie, it's Mom. Listen to me. This is very important. You need to stay put. Don't leave the fenced-in area. Don't go into the basement. Don't mess with that machine outside. Just don't go anywhere, all right? Stay in the shed and wait for me. There are some dangerous animals loose, and I don't want you to get hurt. Everything is going to be fine. Just do as I say. Do as I say and not say as I do or do as I do. There is no way to turn up... There's no way to turn on subtitles, but we can listen there. I'll turn the volume up to 1.3 at the moment, unless, of course, I think it ends up being too loud. Ooh. Bright, shimmering day. Let me explore around a little bit. There's things to catch my attention. Like, everything's kind of colorful, so kind of everything's attracting my attention. Look at those lights. Look at this everything. And there's a few shinies that, get, of course, detract your attention. This is fire. Can I pick up the candle? No. There's a shiny coming from it. I thought I heard something, but whatever. The pipe leads down to the ground. You don't say. It's too heavy for me to lift. I wish I had two working hands. Do I not have two working hands? Machine for opening the door. Ah, the switch is here. I think you're supposed to hit the door open. Machine for opening the door? Okay. What are you? Looks like a flashlight. You keep next to your so-called bed. The flashlight's if I want to ascend to darkness, which I'm guessing that's for this when I go into the basement, if I wanted a flashlight. This game seems to be partially about options. There's a lot of things I can just miscellaneously do. The water's real pretty. I love water. It reminds me of when we went to the ocean with Grandma and Grandpa. Okay, and these are pliers. Wire cutters. Now, wire cutters can obviously cut some things. Okay. There's no real use for that here. You can't get the wire cutters inside the lock. Is there a gate that I need to open with wire cutters? There's no use for that here. Slab miscellaneous contraptions all around. I'll drop these here for the moment. Sort of investigating everything. A brass panel held in place with odd square screws. Okay. So what are you? Some sort of machine made of rock? I'd really like to figure you out how to work. I'll get back to that. What a crappy fence. You don't say. The antique store in town is one like you. I keep asking mom for money. Other than that. Boards. Okay. What about you? It seems to be locked. All right, let's go over this way. What are you? Oh, this might be something which I need. A metal lighter. A pair of wire cutters, another pair of wire cutters. Now wire cutters, I'm gonna try this as a test more so than what I actually need to do. I'll use that here. You try kind of heads and screws off of the wire cutters, but can't. That's unfortunate. There's the other previous wire cutters I put down. I'll put these back over here. On the ground, where they belong. You can walk inside the well with this. Or, no, you cannot. Oh, yes, you can. But there's no reason to. Okay. Wire cutters. Can I use it on the machine? That is my secondary question. Where? I put it around here. There they are. Take the wire cutters and mess with all this. There's no use for that here. There's no use for that here. No use for that here. Well, I guess that's not what this is for. 
Where, where? And then again, there is this other shed now that I'm sort of paying attention. Let me throw these down right there and open this up. Oh! Wire cutters! Come in use. The chain is rusty enough that shining with the exception, you are snip apart one of the links to the wire cutters. Oh. Another message from the machine. Let me mess with this. Hello, machine. Sweetie, you have to stop messing with things. I know you love to explore and play with machines, but this is for your own good. You won't be safe if you don't mind me and stay put. Disobeying your mother, Autumn. Disobedient girls Mom. get punished. And the trees have many eyes. They see everything. They judge everything. And the wolves know too. And I know. Don't touch that machine. Stop getting into things. Don't try my patience. Mom, I'm gonna challenge your patience. Unfortunately, I like how you can hear the wolves howl, but... You know... I'm going to explore, mother, if that is your real name. Looks like my tool looks like my toolbox. I took it, screwdriver. Okay, that's what the screwdriver is for. I can take apart tools with a screwdriver. Surprise, right? There you go, you remove the screw with the panel away. Ah, there's no use for that there, okay. I'll put liquids into this thing. Can I work it now? Here we go, it goes here. Hmm. Oh, here we go. Door opened. Figure out the puzzle. I feel proud. Once the screen is. Oh, oh, it's loading something. I wish I had clothes on. It's really cold down here. Why well, do you not have clothes on? Ah, I should have brought the flashlight. The walls smell dank and feel moist. It seems to indicate if water is flowing through the pipes or not. There's probably some way to control water flow outside. Of course. Let's go to the light then. Flashlight, they have one for me right here. It's probably a light switch or something around. Mother? Hello, Mother, let's talk. What part of don't go into the basement don't you understand? I've tried being nice, and apparently you're too stupid for nice. So get back in your little shed and wait there, quietly until I decide what to do with you. Or do you want to die? I don't know, Mother. Guess I'm gonna have to figure things out on my own. The saw blades are covered in dust. They're obviously sat here for a long time. I kind of like running my fingers over the points. 
that's unfortunate. Is there something in the dark with me? Hello? Wolves, I keep on hearing. There's a screwdriver if I need it. Problem is, smells like oil. Like grandma and grandpa's. Do they have oil? I think they're painted. Oh, water. If I need water, I'll remember to bring the, this whatever here. Okay. Have it over here. Radio. Glass cup. I can tell what I can do to get water already. I should probably find the light switch search and I make this a lot easier. Ready the light switch? Maybe I'll play with Ray's part in the middle. No? I think it's a lock. I'm looking for the light switch first. Alright, I see places to get water. I don't like camp, but the wall seems uh, still seems warm. As if it were recently extinguished. So I find a lighter and get some permanent light in some of these candle places as well. Hmm, I either need a lighter, find the light switch, or whatever. For now I'm gonna move the cup over here. Got the flashlight. I thought it made sense. Okay, flashlight. Light switch still. Well, there's that. Are you the light switch? There we go, that makes my life easier. Still kind of dark, but it's workable now. Oh, so oh, I thought I though it's lying on the floor. Some of the saw blade cuts lengthwise in your arm like blab blubber, creating a thick flap of skin. Well, that's cool. Let me take the saw over here, I guess. Ah, saw right there. I'm probably gonna need it a little bit later. Where I put the flashlight over here, right? Looks like this area isn't lit by the light switch. I get this one. Ooh, stuff. I think it's a fuse. Okay, fuse, syringe. Looks like one of uh, it looks like the one in mom's room, which I can pick up as well. The battery is ta is rough to touch and with old corrosion. Okay, how about this? It's nailed to the door and it's blocking me from opening it. I can't lift it with only one hand. So I think my character only has one arm, and we're naked for some reason. I don't know if I'm a boy or a girl. I think that we're a daughter based on what the opening said, but we'll find out, I guess. Where is the saw? Uh... And for some reason, there's wolves and monsters, and our mom wants to. We have a mother figure who keeps on talking to us who wants us to stay in a shed really badly. It takes some time, but eventually you're able to saw through the board. Open up the door. I need my flashlight. Where I put it? There it is. Flashlight a go go. Oh, mom wants to talk again. Mother, what is up? Do I have to pry off your kneecaps, you little shit? Do I have to nail your fucking arms to the floor? I will twist your legs off and break every bone in your ugly little body if I have to. I am your mother! You will obey me! Get back in your fucking cage! She doesn't seem very happy with me. That's okay. Let's go from there. I'm gonna try and drop this on this stool. Almost was a good enough light source for me. Ah, yeah, that's fine. I don't like candle. There's a note here. A note. You can't do anything at all with your nine-year-old brain, your one nine-year-old hand. Do you think I accidentally hung that key where you could reach it? 
Now then. Oh, there's a key here. A very old rusty lock. Hunt the key where you can reach it. So I, basically it's trying to tell me, look up, look up. It's hunt somewhere. That other sign looks a bit suspicious. Let me get my flashlight. Uh, is there anything inside this room I should pull out of this room? Large green table. It seems to be locked. Okay. Sounds like there's a wolf in there. Let's see. That's just the light. The light's connected to this. There are two small holes. Maybe a fuse goes here or something. Fuse. Take my fuse and let's put it in. Plug it in like a socket. With some effort, you push the fuse into place. Fortunately, it's making okay. It's making the light kind of flash on and off, but you know whatever. Better than it was a little bit ago, I guess. There are things inside the drawer. Oh, cool, a hammer. Hammer. Uh, batteries. Syringes like mom's old room. A lighter! That'd be good to have. Syringe. A lot of syringes, actually. And a screwdriver. Screwdriver's important. I'm gonna take the lighter though right now. Carefully lit the candle. Carefully lighting candles about. I like to make places feel homely, don't you know? Oh, you got to make little light switches things. There, that's good. Lighter got to make a temporary stain of light. That's kind of nice. Anything else I want to light up? Or oh, oil. Oh. Still exploring. Kind of like the chair. No, no use. Okay, if you say so. Put the lighter there. Nice to have some fires lit around, though. Okay, hammer. Can I hammer this in? Hitting stuff is fun. I didn't do anything though. Well, that's unfortunate. Can I hit the lock off? Here's the question. You bash off the old lock with a hammer. Also, there's a wrench here. I didn't even see it. A strange glass object. I know where this goes. I was really expecting a call from Mother when I was done with this. Let's put this here. You slid the glass object into place. I'm kind of afraid to open this because it sounds like the wolf howls are coming from here. I'm really surprised mommy's been calling me about this. Looks like tin. Well, nothing adventure, nothing gained. I can kind of peek inside. I don't see any wolves or anything. Time to get my flashlight back. Where did I stuff it again? I think I left it. There it is. Flashlight, you and I, forever. I think it's a lock. The wall smells like dink and moist. The object fits perfectly. Well, that's good, but what now? Warfo. Oh, I can go upstairs. Okay, I was kind of wondering if I could go upstairs or not. It seems like I can. Is this still locked? Hmm. Can I use the ice pick to lock pick it? I drop the ice pick over here. I'm gonna try and use the uh, key and the ice pick over here. So let's see. 
There's no use for that here. Okay. Let's put this back into place. Ice pick. An ice pick. They always these always scare me. They're so pointy. That means let's inject it. You stick the ice pick in the lock, trust around amazingly hearing it click and open. Awesome. What's inside? Um ooh. An old kitchen knife. That's questionable. A piece of glass. You look it looks really sharp. But yet uh, interestingly enough, that ice uh, that these glass pieces seem to stick together somewhere. I don't know where, but they seem to have some sort of purpose. For the moment I will bring the knife with me. Where did I throw it? There's the knife. Oh wait, is that is that not the knife? You're the knife. Oh, you're the ice pick. Are you the knife? You are the knife. Okay. Trust me with knives. It's obviously a good idea. Let's go on down. Gotta throw the knife down. Go back down. Uh, yep, I did pick up the glass and insert it into a place. So those glass pieces need... They might not have a purpose, but they might have a purpose. Hmm. So is there something which I need to put on top of it? Screwdriver. Syringes. Lighter. Another screwdriver and a hammer. Also the lighter, right? I can relight the things. Take you, relight. Nice to have lights about and all that. Go over here and do the same deal. Or I just throw the lighter. I literally just threw it down. Oh, there you go, got it. Just in the shadows. There, there. Throw this here. Heavy wrench. Maybe try the hammer on the glass object? Maybe. We're gonna throw the hammer again. There's no use for that here. That's unfortunately not it. I guess I'll also throw the flashlight in the area where it flex over here for a little bit. Okay. There is a cup. Oh, so I put the music back on, right? Hmm. Tricky, tricky. I got a few screwdrivers. Oh, there's a valve here. a lock. Maybe it needs water flowing through? The red I imagine would mean the water is not flowing through. You already turned the valve on. Let me look at this with a flashlight. Since right now it looks like this is connected to the water system. And you think war is coming down here, but maybe it's not. Maybe the red means it's not working. Time for some science. That won't let me go downstairs anymore, though. So I know the position it was at. Will this work? Hmm. 
thanks for watching the video. I'd very much appreciate if you take a moment to consider donating to my Patreon, where I'm trying to turn this into a livelihood for missed game videos, different higher quality video series for the channel, and my own little games to make from time to time. You can learn more about all of this at the link, which you'll also find in the description below. If you'd like to watch me record my game videos, take part in development streams, or just interact some, I stream quite regularly at my hitbox.tv channel, and it's where I record all my gameplay for my Let's Plays. I hope you're having a wonderful day, and until next time, adieu.